Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, general reading. What karma are they facing for Aquarius? Uh, this is going to be for your March 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. So we're going to take a look at this, uh, look at someone that you uh, are currently dealing with or dealt with in the past. We're going to see how this person did you dirty and then we'll finish off the read to see what karma this person is facing or will face moving forward. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch the roles if you want. Uh, it could be karma that you're cycling through. Keep in mind that these are general messages. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius here. The person that Aquarius is dealing with or dealt with, how did this person do Aquarius dirty for March, 2023? Two of Pentacles and a Four of Cups. Seems like this person got bored and juggled. I mean, this person literally had a pot of gold here. And I feel like this person juggled, got bored, brought in drama into this connection here. And sort of like messed this up. Two of Wands here in the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Seems like this person had a pot of gold right in front of them, but this person was focusing on other options. Yeah, this person was giving attention to other options here. I feel like this is something that you were fighting about a lot. This person not giving you the attention that you deserve or that you were looking for here. I feel like this person is a bit of an avoidant. They do something wrong, you want to talk to them, try and resolve it, they they run away. Yeah. And I feel like you might have you might be that might that might be sort of that anxious attachment style. Uh where, you know, if this person doesn't communicate with you, you know, you get a real you get really, really, really anxious. Tell me about the two of pentacles here. Why is the two of pentacles here? We have the Seven of Pentacles. This person was definitely wasting their time on the other side of the grass here. The uh, Four of Cups here and the Ace of Cups. You know, I feel like this person does care about you, does love you here, but I feel like that their insecurities really got the best of them here. You know, I feel like this person, you know, wanted to test you. Yeah, they wanted to test you to see how far they could push you, see, to see how, uh, you know, to see if you would stay, you know, but I, I, I just feel like, I, I feel like, I feel like this person definitely saw you or was in love with you, but they were definitely looking for someone else or talking to someone else on the phone here, texting, um, you know, sexting here, you know, all behind your back. This person was on dating websites here while this person was committed to you. Tell me about the King of Cups here. And the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. One of the things I really find fascinating is that this person was talking to other people, to, like talking to someone else, you know, making these really big, 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 big promises. But I feel like this person had no intentions of taking things really far with this person. Um, but you know, I just feel like you might have found out that, yeah, this person was talking to someone else. Yeah. They traded in a pot of gold for a heap of trash. Yeah. Let's see what karma is this person currently facing or will face moving forward for Aquarius for February, 2023. Not February. I'm so sorry for March, 2023. We have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, and the Strength card, Leo Energy, Justice, and the Three of Wands, Three of Swords here, and the Star card, Aquarius Energy. It seems like they, they maybe came to a realization that, you know, you are the one, you're someone that they're really attracted to, 
this person is definitely facing their karma because I feel like it's a situation that you're not coming back. They're waiting for you to come back here, Aquarius, with the Justice card and the Three of Wands, Justice, Sleeper, Energy, Three of Swords, and the Star card. You know, what happened was I feel like this person definitely ended up hurting themselves. And now they're they're trying to find some, some glimmer of hope that this can come back together. The Star card here, Aquarius Energy. Wow, this person definitely ended up hurting themselves. They're stressed out. You know, they're, they're, they're feeling really, 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 really defeated here. Okay. So the Nine of Swords here and the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Justice card. We have the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. Tell me about the Three of Wands here and the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. I feel like this person's at church repent, re repenting their sins here. This person's asking God for assistance, asking their guides and their angels and their ancestors for assistance here. It, it, it seems like this person's starting to lose hope. Yeah, it's, it seems like this person's starting to lose hope here. Uh, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, and Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. Tell me about the Three of Swords here. Why is it Three of Swords here? We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about the Star card and the Four of Wands here. Wow. They can't help but to turn away and look away from this because I feel like the truth is really hurting them. Yeah, the truth of the matter is, is that you are their person. You are the one here. They totally messed this up. I'm going to title this video that. They traded a pot of gold for a heap of trash here. And I feel like they, they, they got, they got, they, yeah, you, 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 you know, you hang out with the wrong crowd, you know, you get what you are looking for, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know, you, you, you hang around trash long enough, you start to stink. I mean, I feel like that's, that's, maybe that's what happened here, you know? And I feel like you started to smell the stinkiness and you just bolted. You know, you know, but with the magician here and the eight of wands, I feel like this person is definitely trying to manifest some sort of communication here with you. Yeah, I just feel like with the uh, uh, lover's card here, I do feel like there is a strong connection here where I feel like you are already in the process of trying to cut the cords with this individual. And I feel like this is causing some great distress in this person here. Okay, with the tower here and the uh, Aries Scorpio energy. Yeah, they're definitely trying to make peace with you. You know, for them, it's not over. And, you know, they're going to prove to you that they've changed. They're going to prove to you that they can make things right here because I feel like this person is really regretful and sorry for betraying you, for stringing you along. Yeah, so Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.